Well, Mark, so close to a win. What's your thoughts on the performance? Yeah, so, so close, but so far, again, we almost executed the, the night perfectly and we've played we've played low risk we've got into our lead we have played low risk South Endra you know showed a lot of possession but I thought we really frustrated and nullified them again um, like I said they had a lot of ball um, but I thought we defended excellently we worked so hard I think the lads are putting in so much hard work um, but you know, we've, we've played low risk tonight and uh, unfortunately we took a risk at the wrong time, at the wrong place and we've been cruelly punished for it, but that's the nature of the league. Um, but you can't underestimate a point sometimes. Um, I said we, we scored early and that probably gives you something to hold on to with, with, with a game where it is, where we are in the leagues and so much riding on it. Um, so sometimes that um, dictates um, the, way, the way we play the game. And like I said, you know, we were, we were battling and fighting for those three points and you could see every, every man out there giving everything to the shirt again and um, you know we can forgive a couple of frailties here and there because we are we are learning we are growing we are um, but what you can't fault is their, their effort and their endeavour and the fight again um, and like I said we've nullified a very very good South End side and um, you know frustrated them at times and like I said we were so close to, to delivering that and although they had a lot of ball I don't think our goalkeeper was called into action too much and uh, we had our counter attacking chances as well. Um, but look, all in all, we, we can make it a good point if, if, if we follow this up on Saturday. Of course, two changes made from the side that drew against Chesterfield. Obviously, Brad Webb's come come back in, and Harry Pete's gone back up top. First of all, no kin today. What's the latest with him? Yeah, unfortunately, Kin suffered a, an, an injury on Saturday, which um, he finished the game, but then had some some swelling in, in his in his area in the in the knee area. So he's um, had a scan today, and um, we're waiting the results on that. And, and look, Brad Webb's come in. A great crossing for the goal, and, and unfortunately he's pulled up as well. So we're hoping that's not too serious. But you know, I stupidly said that we were slowly getting everyone back to full fitness, and we've got two in the space of three days. But that's, that's the nature of football. So um, you know, we'll just have to assess them, um, and hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, and hope for the best. And just a word on some of the players that filled in at left wing back, left back today. Obviously, Toby and Alfie both had a had a moment in there. Yeah, look, to Toby had to again brought him on in midfield, and he's had to quickly drop back in, so into the you know left wing back position, and, and done it so well, done it so well, and um, credit to him. Um, it's great to have him back in and around, um, and again he can play multiple positions, and he showed his football intelligence just to drop into an unfamiliar position, and um, you know executed the way he did, and you know we, we're gutted in there, we're gutted in there because we were we were so close. But like I said, we'll, we'll forgive a couple of bits here and there because everyone's fighting and, um, and giving everything for the cause. And speaking of giving everything for the cause, Ryan Glover's worked his sock off ever since he's been here and he's got his first goal tonight. Yeah, and, and deserved so as well. I thought it was um, a, a great sort of counter-attack. You know, we've regained um, great delivery from Webby, great arrival from Ryan. And um, so that, that was great to see. And, and like I said, that set the game up and probably set our game plan up accordingly to that, to the scoreline and um, yeah, disappointed not to get to get to three points and I keep keep saying that but you know the emotions always high after a game and we led for such long periods that ultimately it ends in disappointment but we can't get down, um, loads of positives out there, we're showing the right characteristics that is for sure, uh, we're humble enough to know that we've got to keep improving, keep striving and looking for that, you know, that ne you know what's next, what's, you know, we've got to keep asking ourselves how do we get better. You know, what next, what next, how, how, how do we keep improving? So um, we'll look to do that. Probably a couple of tiled legs at the end because they've given so much and they gave so much on Saturday as well. Um, you know, Southend probably had, had the slightly advantage with a home tie on, on fr home game on Friday and then not a big travel tonight where we, we played Saturday, so 24 hours less after spending a lot of energy in a, in a tough game on Saturday. But, um, you know, we certainly won't look for excuses and uh, we'll, we'll dust ourselves down and get ready to go Saturday again. And of course, a different bit of news off the pitch. Obviously, Mo Betamers joined Maidstone for a month's loan. What was the thinking behind that? Yeah, look, Mo's um, been injured for a long time. He's worked really hard to come back. And look, we've utilised the loan market to get players ready to play. You've seen Webby do that today. Um, you've seen Alfie Saunders go out and loan. We've seen you know a host of players, Josh Fawell, go out and, and, and speed their... Their, uh, their match minutes up so they can get ready for us. Mo's had a long time out and when we first come in I think it's fair to say that Mo was probably lacking that match fitness and where he had a couple of hampered with a few injuries through pre-season before we got here so um, he's there to get you know match sharp. Of course you touched on it another one of your former sides Weymouth away another big game. Yeah every game the next game's always the biggest another tough challenge um, David Oldfield obviously new manager 
he's going to get a kick out of those players. I know, you know, there's still a few of my, I say my players from there where we, you know, shared some great times. Um, so, you know, they've got a very good manager that who's gone down there, and so it's going to be another real, real tough game down there without a shadow of a doubt. Are you a movie shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.